All right, guys, what's up? We're currently headed to Bender Park Boat Launch, and we're gonna be fishing the Oak Creek Power Plant today. Hopefully, we're gonna be able to find some brown trout down there, see if we can't catch any. Um, so I'm just bringing my casting, or my spinning rods today, and then I'm bringing one bait caster. So I don't have all my trolling gear, but I think we should be good with this. Last time we were there, um, they were pretty much biting on anything. So we're gonna give it a shot again. I just talked to Noah, he checked the launch, and he said that the launch is still covered in ice, but we should be able to slide the boat out there. Um, so we checked it yesterday, and there was an east wind, so it blew all of the ice chunks that were floating out over the lake up into the launch, so we weren't able to launch. But now, today, we have a pretty steady uh, west wind, which is blowing all the ice back out into the lake, clearing the launch up a little bit, so we shouldn't really have a problem getting over to the power plant today. All right, we'll see you on the water. This is what the launch looks like for all you guys sitting at home waiting to get out. It's getting close. Getting close. Maybe midweek this week or by this weekend I'm sure this ice will probably be pretty close to gone. You guys can get the boats out. Get over to the power plant. We got a strong west wind today. Which is good. Since the land kind of shelters it, it's not too wavy out there so it should be fine. All right, we're gonna motor over to the power plant. I'm gonna start with a large reef runner, hopefully weed out some of the smaller ones if they're here and just get some bigger fish. There he is. There he is. Oh shit. Dang it, that felt like a nice one. That felt like a pretty decent fish at two. I don't know how it didn't get hooked. Those hooks are super sticky. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? Right at the top. That was awesome. Maybe they want it faster. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, nah, just a little guy. It's going nuts though. I don't want to put him in the net with this bait because it'll be a big cluster, you know? Oh, king? Yeah. For, so you can put him way down in the water. Oh, yep. Next time. Oh, there's fish here. So I was speeding it up. I sped it up for that one. And he nailed it. Oh. Okay, there are quite a few fish here. So I really don't want to net these fish because I have a crankbait on with six hooks and it really gets tangled in my net. So we'll just tire this guy out a little bit. But it looks like the hook might have popped out of his mouth. He's just snagged now. Yep. Sorry, bud. Okay, relax. So we're gonna keep a few of these to eat. Uh, not all of them. We're just going to keep a couple. Don't worry guys, there'll be plenty of fish for you. I mean, I don't think they're just going to ruin the fishery after they've built it for the last how many years. 
These things are crazy, crazy energetic. Wow, these things bite hard. I have like 30 pound power pro on this line, or on this rod, so I can horse them in pretty well. So they hit it, and then they comes out of their mouth when they're fighting them. I hooked it in the mouth first. Whoa! Oh shit. All right, fish number two. Oh no, I have a knot in my line. Oh no. Retie this. close to the boat. Doubled up. First double. Woo! All right, I'll get mine in here quick. Oh, oh. oh he's gone. Oh. my bait against the wall I'm gonna break it you'll crack your bait and it'll water will leak into it and it won't swim right careful not to hit your bait on the wall all right so we each get to, we each get to keep five fish so we can keep a total of ten I don't know if we're gonna do it or not but each each person gets to keep five it's gone oh. no my drag wasn't set Oh, popped out. Well, they are stacked in here again. The current picked up a little bit. It seems like they're uh, they're biting a little better. Also, I put my hand in the water. This water is super warm. Because what it's doing is they're sucking the water in and cooling down the power plant there. And then this is the, the discharge. So the water is a lot warmer here. And I think the fish are attracted to that and the current that we're fishing in. Shiner's not doing as hot as the crankbaits. Oh shit, I just cast through. There you go. Oh! Not anymore. Oh! That thing crushed it. Damn. Coming around. So here's the dirty water on this side. Yeah. Oh. These things are nuts. It was, it was really hard to make that video because I had to, I switched memory cards in my cameras halfway throughout the day because one got full. Yep. And so then all the numbering on the cameras 
Oh, look at that. Look at that. Did you see that? I wonder if I saw it on cam got it on camera. That was Oh look, he's just sitting there. He's still down there. He's just sitting right below it. I wonder if some white bucktail there. I feel like anything would work. We're gonna put on the Callens Gulp Minnow with the darter head jig. Fish the bottom, see if there's some bigger fish down there. See if they like this even. What is it? Where, like who did the custom? Well, he can still ice fish up north or inland lakes or panfish. There he is. Oh. Yeah, we can net this one since it's only a single hook. Won't be all effed up. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh, he's off. Oh. Well, the jig, the Callens jigging minnow worked. Uh, it's a seven-one medium heavy fast action. Oh, this is my favorite rod. Normal fishing. There he is. Ooh. Oh! Cool, huh? I don't know if I got that on film or not. That was sweet. I've never seen one jump that high before. He doesn't want to go in that net. That's a wrap. I had a great day of fishing. I hope you guys did too. As always, if you like the video, hit that like button. If you want to go on more adventures, smash that subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.